Hi folks, welcome back to the Big Blue Boat Shed. Uh, today we're going to finish tabbing in these uh, subframes and get them done so I can move on to uh, making out the floors that the tanks will sit on. Um, today we're going to do things a little different than what you've seen before. Working with two different types of tape. This is the last of the six ounce biaxial tape that I have. Uh, as you can see, it's very light weight, moves around fairly easy. This tape um, is 18 ounce bioxyl fabric and as you can see it's very stiff. Um, it's massive overkill but it's what I have so uh, I'm going to use it <laughs> and uh, we just have to adjust the way in which we wet the tape out. It doesn't conform very well to sharp corners or anything like that so uh, it's going to take some time. We may have to slit it with scissors to get it to go around corners and things, but uh, we'll see how it works. So we're going to start out with one of these and I'll show you how I do it. It's nice and cool in the boat shed today. It's about 60 degrees, so we've got lots of working time with our epoxy. So there's no need to rush. We'll take our time. Hopefully get it done right. I've mixed up probably about 20 ounces of epoxy. I've got four of these joints to do. And I've got a couple of bailout spots already to go. If I have too much meat up. So today we're going to use a roller to wet out instead of a brush. Seems to work better on these heavier tapes. nice and cool so the epoxy is just like molasses in here this morning it may take quite a bit of work to get it to wet out properly There is no chop strand mat on this tape, uh, so either side is up. I'm going to have to worry about that. <clears throat> this tape comes from uh, Great Lakes Skipper, and it's a uh, factory surplus that they buy up and sell off. I've used a lot of it on this boat. I just bought my second roll. I think one of the companies that uh, they sell off their uh, factory surplus is uh, Four Winds, which is a Brunswick company now, if I'm not mistaken. But they build really nice, fairly high-end boats. I went through this morning and I laid down all the fillets for the joints that I wanted to do. Not in any hurry today, it's nice and cool. Not like some places where they're complaining about the heat already.
Although I've never done it, using this method, you can actually pre-wet out your tapes and store them in the fridge. I don't think the epoxy will kick if it's below about 50 degrees Fahrenheit. So you have an almost indefinite working time doing it this way. Um, I've never done it. I might try it sometime, see how it goes. But for right now, we're just going to continue on the way we always have. It's kind of like working with wet spaghetti or lasagna noodles. It's that bad. There we go. There you have it. That went pretty quick. We'll come back later and make sure there's no bubbles. Um, we always have our fiberglass roller or consolidator or whatever you call it for uh, rolling bubbles out. Okay, on to the next one. This tape is uh, eight inches wide, and uh, if you don't get it where you actually absolutely want it the first time, it doesn't move around very much. It's a lot of surface area compared to the six inch. And the lighter tapes are actually easier to handle, but this would uh, replace three layers of six ounce with one layer of this. It's probably why they use it in uh, production boats. Because they can meet the requirements for uh, tabbing panels together, etc., with one piece of tape as opposed to having to go over and over multiple layers. There you have it. The only one done. Two more to go. Thanks. I appreciate you looking in.